के पंची रे तेरा दर्द न जाने को तेरा दर्द न जाने को बाहर से तू खामोश रहे से तू खामोश रहे तो भीतर भीतर रोए रे हे भीतर भीतर रोए तेरा दर्द न जाने को कह न सके तू अपनी कहानी तेरी भी पंछी क्या जिंदगानी रे सके तू अपनी कहानी तेरी भी पंछी क्या जिंदगानी रे विधि न तेरी कताल की आंसू
इसी से श्री अंत्येष्टि कर्म कामना मया दीयते तव प्रतिष्ठा May we all thank you, please, son.
everybody. So we will invite the immediate family to come and they will be allowed to do our dishes. But due to the COVID-19, we allow everybody to do our thing. Everybody will be touching the same tally. We ask friends and well-wishers that we give you an opportunity to come and put a flower. But the immediate family, sister-in-law, sisters, all those things, will be given the opportunity for perfume and arty. Good? Now we want to be very careful. We don't want to infect anybody. And we want when you leave here, you leave safe. Good? So, the son-in-laws will only be allowed to put a rose at a given time. Okay? So at this time, we will sing some pleasure and we will direct you, but we want to come one by one. If you need help with an assistance, that is the only two person will be here. But let us prevent crowding. Devotees, please, it is bad. It is really bad. So let us be very cautious, okay? So, um, Basha, or direct it, how it should come. So we'll have So meantime, we can turn to our program. Eka dena hame vichana hai. Eka dena hame vichana hai.
The next bhajan on your program, Aye Bhiya Kela, Jaye Bhiya Kela. Aye Bhiya Kela, Jaye Bhiya Kela, Do din ke zindagi hai, Do din ka mela. Aye Bhiya Kela, Jaye Bhiya Kela, this bhajan is saying you came into this world all alone and you will leave all alone life like is a fear lasting only for two days Jagame, Kyatu, Jekarana, Nick, 
की करम के कर ले दुनिया से धरना पाप की अंगन में कूदे कोई कहे खेला दो दिन के जिंदगी है दो दिन का मेला आए भी अकेला जाए भी अकेला दो दिन के जिंदगी है दो दिन का मेला अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई वी आर केम टू दिस वर्ल्ड एंड व्हाट we have to do breaking society ethics carries consequences and this with this in mind do good and doing good good will result unfortunately we have thus far plunged ourselves into the fire of sin but only the lord and the lord today alone will be able to eradicate our sins ye zindagi hai pyare ek jhoot sapna gairo ke duniya mein nahi koi apna sab ke मैं हूँ अकेला दो दिन के जिंदगी है दो दिन का मेला आए भी अकेला जाए भी अकेला दो दिन के जिंदगी है दो दिन का मेला अंडरस्टैंड माय फ्रेंड्स लाइफ डज नॉट लास्ट it is like a dream that comes to an end you go to sleep you having a beautiful dream or you may having a nightmare in your dream and as you wake up everything comes to an end let us wake up today and watch our sister vashti into this coffin this tree and what she is saying to us all of us will become a product of this one day to come so why be proud when we have to leave this world and leave everything in this world and go all the people she have known will ultimately become strangers because when we take this body to the banks of the karani river and it turn ashes she will no more be in this form she will be in a photograph she will be on the program and we will keep it and we will look at it and we will speak to a photo and say what a great soul you have been but my friends understand that this what is happening to her today will happen to all of us even though we are surrounded by many beloved associates like all of us are surrounding this deceased today but really she is all alone because she come alone and she is going to go alone this is the reality of life and this is the outcome okay and what to do after this let them know.
Yeah. Oh. 
At this time, I will invite Vasha, the daughter of Vashti, to deliver the evil. She was born on the 2nd of June, 1966, to the parents of Mr. and Mrs. Princhan Lisis. She was the eighth child out of nine siblings. She was born and raised in Hiralal Drive, Calcutta, number two, Freeport. She attended the Freeport Hindu Primary School and then further her education in Karipachima Junior Secondary. She then went on working in the family business, which was making and selling of doubles, etc., in the Port of Spain market. She grew up in a family-oriented environment and loved outdoor activities. While working at the market, she was introduced to the love of her life, the Usaran Ramsharan. There, they both grew madly in love with each other and got married. They both had an exciting life together. They had their ups and downs like any other marriage. After one year, mom got pregnant with me. She was so fortunate to make one child, but gain three who she considered as her own flesh and blood, Tara, Dave, and Lisa. She never treated us differently or showed any separations among us. She taught us how to live happy as a happy. She taught us how to live as a happy family. She had a great life. She had loved to cook, make jokes, entertain people, and love her religion with a passion. She was the spotlight at every event she attended. Wherever she went, she was loved by many and brought happiness, joy, and laughter to all. She really looked forward to the yearly Ganesh Utsarv celebration that takes place at the residence of her loving Baba, Pandit Dudnath Rampasad. She had a love and passion for this celebration so much that she purchased her very own seven feet Ganesh Murti in 2016. Mom touched so many lives and did so many good things for anyone who asked her for assistance. She was a problem solver to everyone. Mom, you are my world. I never wait on any occasion to express my love and passion to you. I will always post words, quotes, pictures, songs, and so many other that meant the world to me about you. My love for you, Mom, is unconditional. My mom knew she was my everything. There is no one in this world will ever take your place in my life. She always told me I have to be strong and I have to fill her place when she's no longer. I never, I never expected it to be so soon. Mom had an unbreakable bond with her loved ones. But there is one person besides me that she will give her life for. And that one person is her handsome grandson, Rahul. 
He was the apple of her eyes. He brought all the love and comfort to her where my dad or myself could not fulfill. Ra, you, I know you are young and might not understand fully, but your grandmother had a special place in her heart for you. In April 2021, mom got ATIA, stroke-like symptoms. She had, she had recovered soon after, but was ailing inside, and she hid it from all with that beautiful, bright smile. Since April 2021, I had no choice but to drop everything in my life to be there for mom, along with my dad and siblings. I, we all risk everything for her. Mom was a strong, independent woman. She loved her son-in-laws and will always want them to cook and ha come and have cooked some lime. As soon as we reach, she will go and take out all daddy's stocks from the bar and he will get vexed. She will tell him, cool yourself, boy. When I could not fill that spot, my big sister, Tara, who is now my mom, will be here to take care of the household while I go and see about my business. We all did our best and went beyond for her. Her husband, who is the backbone of her life, had done everything possible to make her the happiest woman in the world. She could not say she wanted something and never got it. Mom, I know you are in a better place now and is looking down and smiling at us. You have been giving me a lot of signs, but I have been turning a blind eye to it. I know you were trying to prepare me for this day, but I was not taking it because I'm not ready for you to go. Mom, I do not regret doing what I have done for you. All I ask of you now is to give us that comfort and strength to go on with life after today. Mom, we love you and is definitely missing you. One thing you never teach us to do was live without you. I could stand here and speak hours, days, months, and years about you, but I have to end now. In conclusion, on behalf of my dad, my siblings, and myself, we would like to say a heartfelt thank you to all in our most trying times. Mom, life will never be the same again. Home will never be the same again. Please, to everyone listening, cherish your parents while they are here with you because only when it reaches your doorsteps, you will understand that hurt. Thank you. With us is Pandit Vishnu, and I'll ask him to self pray. My dear devotees, today is a, but a very sad day. You know, we read in the scriptures that the Lord Sri Krishna says, who born must die. So we know that once we were born, we all have to prepare to die. That is walking with us every second of our life. So, in conclusion to this sentence, is that just prepare yourself. My dear devotees, I happen to be in this family from 1992. The passing of Dave's father, I read Ramayana. I did the funeral of his mother, and today I am doing the funeral of his wife. 
But Vashti was a very, very extraordinary person when it comes to, to human feelings. They were attached to the mandir and become the family funded. I have christened their children. I have gotten three of them married. Lisa, who is here from New York with her husband. Vasha and Devanam. I got three of them married. Well, Devanam got married and I didn't know them afterwards. And being in close, close proximity with this family, I can say one thing, I was always welcome home. And not only with Vashti, with Mama, who has gone beyond, and all the sisters. I could say this, is a loving family. And our auntie who used to come with Vashti the Mandir. Vashti was a cook at the Vishwanath Mandir for the Ganesh itself. So on behalf of the Sri Siddhi Vinayak organization, in collaboration with the Vishwanath Hindu Social and Cultural Organization, we'd like to extend our deepest condolences to this very family. But when I record some of the things Vashti would do is testimony to what God would like us to do. Vashti would not only come to cook Adi Mandir, but when Vashti come in, she come in with a bag. It her roti, if the president say he want fry alu, if what she say he want tomatoes choke her, she make it. Whatever they want, she is to take their order and bring it. Or along, she will make a big pot and bring it. But she will be cooking lunch for everybody. But she will stand up and cook the biggest pot of food together with the president of our organization. And she will ensure that she stays until the last person eat. And then she will go home. Even they will be hustling her. You know, I have to go to work tomorrow, I have to go to work. But she know why she was spending so much of time, because she know. She knew then, probably my time is short. So they'll, next time you see somebody spending 20 time, don't hurry them. <laughs> My dear devotees, Vashti will take time off and clean the chowder and have it in the bucket and fix it up and she will say, Baba, I have chowder to pay for 11 days for the Ganesh festival. If I need Shatayim, Vashti have in the fridge. If I run out of mango, Vashti, she has in the fridge. My dear buddies, her hands were sweet, her life was sweet, her ending was very short. I was here Sunday morning. And when she heard, they told me to come. She wanted to make sure that she looked good. But she had been fooling me for a very long time. There's only I didn't tell her, but she at your age, you mustn't fool an older man than you. I Ask Vashti. I say, Vashti, I 
hear you not well. She say no power, everything good. Everything good. I say, what you want to eat? She said, I want to eat mango takari. So the Wednesday, Ram was going to cook for um, and, uh, So I said, I bring in mango takari. You know what? She fooled me and she put up on Facebook. Rice, dal, mango, takari, dash and gush. So I say, but look, she don't cook the mango. Then when I call her, I say, girl, you cook. And it, she say, Baba, I cook everything and I eat my belly full. That time, Vashti, I know nothing. She don't want to give the impression that she is sick. She believed that sickness was a weakness. To say that I am sick, everybody know Vashti was vibrant. When you come here, you see Vashti moving and up and about. Vashti coming at prayers. Vashti finding something to do. Vashti at the temple. Nothing was too much. Her sister, no? Come down here. When Mama was alive, she, they will come. We make it a road, Channing, 108 road now. And she make it, make it for sad. Nothing was too much. And if I say Vashti, it doesn't have nobody today not to do this. She said, don't worry, now you go get done. What are you worrying? And my dear about this, the kitchen at Vishwanath was a joyous place. Because when she and them ladies meet up, she used to say, Baba, you go one side now. Go and see about the food that is this and then. And when your head crack out, and they start to laugh, no, you know what they're talking about. You know what they're talking about? How they have run. How some of them husband used to beat them, or how the husband used to love them, and so on, and so on, and so on. And my dear about this, Vashti had everybody going. And if you would have heard Vashti conversation, you would have swear to God that Vashti is something with somebody. She was just a loving person. And she had no meaning to nothing. My dear about this, when the year start, she making sure she behind it. Call Baba and put the day for Puja. They don't put day for Puja and in Nauratam. First day in Nauratam, I just be here to perform that Durga Puja. She said, Baba, I must perform that Puja. And there she, when Puja going on, Vashti don't cook food and everything and have it on her table. My dear about this, the hands that serve according to the teachings of Sri Satya Sai Baba, is much more holier than the lips that pray. Mm -hmm. Many people uttering God, 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 and they're doing nothing. But Vashti hands, her feet, it was an action. And my dear about this, After a little while, when I realized she was not too well, my Zali had a puja. And you see this picture? This is the outfit she came with by Zali. And when I see the picture, I say, wow. I say, Vashti? I can't believe you're looking so. I said, they will jealous you. <laughs> My dear about is, Vashti did like the dress. Vashti did like whatever little she have, it must be good. And whatever little she could have done, she wanted to do it good. And that was very good of her. And she always had a smile on her face. One day I met her again, they were buying dollars. I said, but she know you going. She said, I'm going good, I'm going by the doctor, and the doctor is going and everything good, good, good. But I just know you're going to come and tell them I'm caught in the temple. I said, all right, fool me again. Vashti kept on fooling me, fooling me, fooling me, until even Sunday one, she fooled me again because she sat on the bed and she started to talk 
and the sacrament joke I said, Vashti, I want Sarah Roti, Cripsy Fry, Lord Kappa, and a cup of tea. Feel good quick. She said, Yes, Baba. She said, Shiva Rome. I said, I don't want a Shiva cook. And when you cook, and we go eat, Shiva could eat too if you want. She said, You know, I feel I could eat a good dal curry, mango takari, and tomatoes choka. Make sure she went there and cook that. My dear buddies, she was a very lovable person. And whatever she cooked, and she knew I liked, she would always send something. But she always had something to give. It's okay if she didn't get. This is the person we're talking about. But you know, my dear buddies, as I said to you, the hands that serve is more holier than the lips that pray. But God tells us, Jenake Hiradai Shri Mama 
so they remember Mama made a great contribution to these three children. And Vashti stood there. I was told that when she made Basha, how many of them were not sin? Lisa and Devaran. She nursed, she made one child, but nursed three. My delicate is, in, when you marry an Andulaha and you put him in the car, you see, today what we're supposed to cry for, we we'll laugh. And what we're supposed to laugh for, we we'll are cry. You know, in the wedding, the mother was sang like the car. Etuma muta jala beta gauri biya hana dudhava te mola kari deho. He says, son, today you're going to marry. Sila Nanshi did that for you. I was there. You're going to marry. You're going to meet your in-laws. You're going to take your better half. And I want you to know something. I will tell you a story. Gaya ke dudha wa bajariya bi kaile, sajariya bi kaile, ho maiya ke dudha anamola. He said you could pay a price for moon. You could pay a price for white lily, blue lily, black lily. Red lily, butterfly milk, goat milk, cow milk. But Devan and Lisa, did you all pay a price for mother's milk? You? No. Bara and mold, it is priceless. When a mother breastfeed a child, that child is indebted to that mother until they live. That is why that makes a mother and without a father, she could not have become a mother. So put the two, father and mother, with their blessings, the doors of heaven is open for you. But my dear friends, if any one of us feel that we can go to God and forsake our earthly mother and father, the gates of heaven is closed. What a mother and father could do so wrong that a child cannot forgive if they do something by the way. The bhajan says, Mata putra se pyar kara hai jitana Nine months and going in the tenth month. 
and she will tote that child for nine months and then she will deliver that child and if you get a lash in your foot you say oh god pain pain oh god boy but when a mother bringing a child into this world one foot in the grave and one foot outside but that pain must be a pain of joy you know why she don't want nothing happen to that baby she want that baby to come huh? you think so you come big man right Shadi lagi ji chadar or he Haan dood pilaiya Kaun kare ka yetna And when that child cries out, the mother will say, I know you're hungry. That mother will know which child will be hungry at what time. And when a child is in trouble, a mother does know before anybody else. But you know the difference? A mother does know, but a child does not know when the mother is in problems. That is what you call a Nima Karam. <laughs> Sorry to say. Eat the salt and they turn ungrateful. A mother, but well now they have crib and they have chickies and hoggies. We didn't wear those things. We grew up by putting on bed sheet and that upon thing. They were saving. They put it bed in. And when we wet that, Mama going to get up and dry us. And if she don't have a second outfit for the night. She going to sleep with that wet one. Today, if the mother gets sick, and by mistake, she trembles, nervousness, and she drops some water, two, three times, they get fed up. They only have to hear, I have to come and stay with mama for a week. Boy, me? How about you know I? I will tell her something. Look to the Vashti you can do. Your wife will go before you. But your good deeds that you perform to your parents will go with you on this day. You hear the Vashti said, Love you, you'll need a mother now. Love you, have a heavy role here. My dear buddies, the role of parenting cannot be measured. And therefore, children should rethink and be grateful to their parents. Today, because of religion, parents are treated badly. Today, because of politics. So what if your mother is a UNC and you are a PN? Does that have anything to do with the teachings of the Lord? That is only for down here. So if you are a Hindu and your, your mother is a Christian, or your mother is a Christian and you are a Hindu, or your mother is a Hindu and you are a Christian, what does that have to do with you? My dear devotees, Ishwara Allah Tera Naam Sabko Himma Dev Bhagwan. There is only one God. If anybody could prove to me there, are, there is more than one God, then I'm ready to stand at your side. In the Sirimad Bhagavad Gita, Bhagwan Krishna says, He says, I am your mother, I am your father, I am your grandfather, I am the sustainer of the world, I am the Lord, I am the witness, I am the refuge. I am everything to you. So my dear buddies, what causes the difference? Our mind. When you go in the hospital, say, well, you are a Hindu now. I want a Hindu doctor and a Hindu nurse to give me the injection. You're glad when you get pain so. You're glad. Yeah, no. 
I don't want to know if she's short or she's tall. I don't want to know if she's East Indian or African. And all I want to know, I tell you meditation. And you see that I meditate. You see, treat me good, eh? don't choke my heart. There must be a oneness of love, a togetherness. Because you just not know who's going to be going to be giving you your last cup of water. And you don't know where you're going to die. I came here Sunday and she died Wednesday at San Grande Hospital. We don't know my dear bodies. Tapaka tapaka kara suka ke sulaiya gakara sura la bhajana. Children can't sleep at night. What do you want to go do? Waking whole night. High fever, high temperature. In those days, they didn't have COVID. Even today, mothers are making the sacrifice. Don't mind the child have COVID. I go and say about my child. I'm my child. That is my wealth. Care less if she gets it. My little body is. And she will pack that child. How many children does take time? to pack their mother and their father. How many children will sit with a plate of food and take a little bit from that and feed their mother? See what will happen now. If they feed their mother with that hand, they have to be washed with bleach. And then the wife will take it. Not in that plate, I ain't in that plate. And I will tell you something. They're going to pass it. I would say, you know what some of them are saying? Who oh, am I married to? I'm married to your mother and father, or I'm married to you. Well, the first thing I want you to know that when the barat reach and we reach on the road, you does not see the Dullahan, the Dullahan coming to Bhete. You don't see the Dullahan father and the Dullahan father going to come with the Tassa and they're going to be joyous. And the two of them are going to hand one another the lotha water and they go pay it. And then my dear the dollar how come and they go call the dollar. So who comes first? The families. So how you go say you didn't marry the mother and father? The marriage started on the road. So you have to know when you're marrying your daughter, you must tell her. That look, you marry them into a family, and that family becomes the boat for you to cross. Today, she got married in this family, and you know which side she going on? She ain't going on her mother and father's side. She going on her mother and father's side. That is why, if you as a daughter-in-law feel you could play football down there, when you reach out there, it's football a big idea. So a mother sacrifice for a child and give medication, all kind of medication, just for that child to feel good. Jawana bhaye jab shadi karna tab taka preman chuti mata ki mamata aisi bhari
allow anything to separate you from your parents. But she has done her part and she is going to it. Look how many older people it has. I mean to say, me and old, right? <laughs> many of you older than Vashti. I'm much more younger than Vashti. But we share a special bond. You know, with your ears, you don't hear many things. But when Vashti died, I had my part to play. Because when Vashti was living, she had a part to play. And I was thinking, Vashti go find herself every morning by the temple. Sometimes I had to send a taxi. But today, a final taxi, I say I ride in with you, Vashti. And I wait home. I waited home. Say, this is what I can do for you today. And you will be happy that Baba will be in your home. And I sat in the bus. I sat once in the bus for my mother. And today I sat to brush me. And I made sure they pull out the box. And you know the undertaker here. I said, pull out the box, I want to see. I want to okay, stamp it, and say yes. She's looking beautiful. And when I looked at her, I said yes. Yes. It has been approved. Because she looked beautiful in her outfit. And I walked to the children and the husband. Because when you are a pundit of a family, you must be a pundit not only for Dachna and for Puja. You must be a pundit for good times as well as bad times. But I'm going to also tell you something. You mustn't have a pundit conveniently and use him. Today you take one pundit, tomorrow you take a next pundit, the next three years you take a next pundit, you will not get this kind of treatment. You must stick to one pundit. He is your family priest, your pundit of the home. Respect that. And I stood with this family and I did my best for Vashti. She is going to go in a short while. Time is approaching for us to be part. Yeah? So it's a time now. Okay, past nine. Okay. We still have some time. I am time to cry in the But my dear brothers, you know what? When time to cook at the temple, I wouldn't see Vashti no more. You know what we just miss is what the person used to do. We would say, if she would have been here, she would have been home saying the word. My dear brothers, and Vashti had a way to cook. She would put saffron in the mango and boil it. Something we learned from her. But all and in all, you see what the Gita says and the Ramayana says? And how Sita lived amongst the people and the ground? So Vashti lived. But well, let me tell you, Tongue and teeth just live in one home. But the teeth doesn't bite the tongue. But when the teeth bite the tongue, it's a little bit of the teeth and throw it, unless you have the eh? I don't know, so. All right, leave it right there. You will say, I will try not to allow my teeth to bite my tongue. So, my dear buddies, in life, everybody will have their little differences. But you know, when times like this, you have to learn. Let me put the differences aside and let us come together and let us pray. 
Look at how many people die with COVID. The world is not waking up and thinking, who's next? When are we going to open our eyes and realize that look is only two things can help us is prayer and God. So why not accept the Lord now and make him a friend in our life? So if living, we live for him, and if dying, we die for him. Vashti did not give up her religion. Vashti lived as a Hindu. She died as a Hindu. And my dear Lord, she is getting full Hindu rights. If you are a Christian, live as a Hindu, a Christian, and give your life to Christ. Look, my Christian brother sitting there, Diane, you Hindu, your husband is Christian, they then. And my dear Lord, when Diane has Puja, I don't do Diane Puja in Dabadi. My dear Lord, the husband has been more in front than Diane. Preparing this and preparing that. Religion should not separate us. If you know religion will separate you when you fall in love, first find out what religion you have. Hindu, I don't have nothing to do with you. But love, thy blind love. They say, we want to know nothing about religion. And just after that, you know the real heaven calling, they want to know why we take them so long. <laughs> So, my dear devotees, to end my sermon this morning, I want you to know that as I have said at the beginning, the hands that serve is holier than the lips that pray. Let us be of service to humanity. Let us be of service to society. Let us be of service to our country and our fellow men. And my dear devotees, that is the way to go. Karma Pradhana Vishwa Karirata. As you plan, so you shall reap. And as you make up your bed, so you shall lay on it. Vashti is telling us, I am going to live. Life is short. Death has no respect for age. Babies does that. Young people have died, and old people have died. And you know, today they have a specific younger people dying, and even the old people. So all your old people love me. <laughs> so my dear devotees, just understand that Lord Krishna says, I am your father, I am your mother, I am everything to you. That is why we chant the mantra, Komeva Mata Chapita Komeva, Komeva Bandhu Chasakha Komeva. So she is saying to me, every one of you that is sitting here are dying people. You realize that? We are all dying people. Your age do go down, it does go up. From one day old, one week, one month, one year, two years, 54 years, 60 years, 80 years. What are you doing? You're making your exit out of the world. Do you realize? We are dying people looking at the dead. We are only waiting. And it's a matter of time when we're going to be into this position. So then what is left for us? Give your life to God and ask Him to bless your life, that you do good things and you lead a good life. Let us all stand. This time, we are going to bid her our final farewell as we sing Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram. 
as she meet us, the first word, Sita Ram. Today, we are going to serve our final Sita Ram, and the children will place their roles as they pick up their life. Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram Oh, 
ਤੁਹਾਡੇ